in this video. He seems worried. He constantly looks in the same direction. Something bothers him and he decides to move. At this moment, anything can happen. They could fight to the death. Maurice shows up on the ground just two meters away. In partnership with Age of Union. Hi everyone, I'm in the Dulan forest. It's my second day. I met loads of animals, some boars twice. I was even able to take pictures, a munchak and some mouse deers. And then I spent all of today following Maurice. But there is some super good news amidst these encounters. It's the first time seeing these types of sightings. So bearded boar and munchak during the day, that signs that the animals feel really safe. It's impossible here to bump into bearded boar or muntjacks or mouse deer in midday if hunting takes place here. They're mostly active at night. But now, two days in a row, bumping into bearded boars like this, I was even able to take pictures. Muntjac, mouse deer. Well, for the mouse deer and muntjacs, I didn't make good pictures. They just passed me by. They weren't disturbed while resting, for example. No, no, these are animals that came to me. This really says the animals were fully active in broad daylight. And that sign again that the forest is safe, no poaching, no hunting. We knew it already, but it's good to really see the first signs. That these animal populations are increasing and can feel safe in the forest. It's just dope. And earlier, I saw Maurice this morning. He's now to my right, about 200 meters away. I let him go because I followed him all day. I saw some footprints yesterday that suggested he was in this part of the forest. And I wasn't mistaken. He made sounds and I found him. He did something amazing after about an hour of me watching him without him knowing. He didn't know I was there. He started making sounds and I saw he was a bit more stressed than usual. And I thought, hmm, he saw me. I was quite surprised by his behavior. He seems worried. He constantly looks in the same direction. Something bother him and he decides to move. Actually, another dominant male came close to challenge Maurice. I totally didn't catch the situation at first. Maurice heads towards the other male. Right now, anything could happen. They may fight to death. The male challenging Maurice backs away as Maurice regains confidence and chases him. One hundred kilos each, they break branches and Maurice keeps on chasing his opponent in this electric atmosphere. Maurice seems to have pushed back the intruder, at least for today.
All right, so I went up to Maurice. Maurice saw me, and importantly, the other male saw me just as I noticed him. So the other male totally freaked out when he saw a human. But Maurice, since he knows me, he started chasing off the other big male confidently because my presence didn't bother him. So I think I accidentally gave Maurice a little help. Maurice then spends his day keeping an eye on his territory. Next day, I find this unknown male right in the middle of Morris's territory. Even worse, he's calling like he owns the place. I'm certain it's the new male. I recognize him by the three marks on his left cheek and the scar between his nose and mouth. I identify all the big males in the forest by these facial marks. So the new male has three marks on his left cheek and one mark between his nose and mouth. Maurice has a clear mark on his right cheek, but also a stiff finger on his right hand from a fracture. Bon Jovi has a scar on his lower lip. Mr. Kotak has round marks on his right cheek and on the left side of his face. And Mr. Waro has a perfect face with no marks, just a sunken forehead. I'm surprised to see him so bold. Judging by his face, this male gets into fights frequently and seems hell-bent on taking over Maurice's territory. Suddenly I hear something big near me. Maurice appears on the ground only two meters from me. When he realized how close I am, he climbs a tree as he pursued his rival. I've never been this close to Morris, and I can tell he's pissed off. He chases off his rival again, who retreats. The male makes some noise, but isn't ready to challenge Maurice. Once again, Maurice spends the rest of the day monitoring his territory. He seems worried. After the contact this morning with the new male who was looking to challenge Maurice, the new male left to the east, and Maurice rejoined a female, and I follow him until he makes his nest. It's about to rain, and I will follow him until the night.
The next day in the same area, I bump into a young male with no facial disc, which means he's no threat to Maurice. Then, a female shows up. And finally, another young female, a juvenile, joins them. They're not used to seeing humans, and from watching them, I figure out they're part of Maurice's family. And a few minutes later, Maurice appears with two other females. Eight orangutans, Maurice turns up with two females, while I was watching out for a male with two females, a young one and a nursing one. And here are the footage from the trap cameras. Do you know which orangutan this is? Pop your answers in the comments. And here's Maurice. The Doolin Forest is one of the last havens for orangutans in this part of Borneo, but it's surrounded by coal and palm oil industries. With the local communities, mayors, local authorities, along with your support, we gotta do everything we can to keep this forest protected together. Thank you for your support.